welcome all in this tutorial we are going to discuss the process of static routing in the case of FLSM as in the previous uh, video we, we have seen that IP address distribution process using FLSM now we are going to see how we will do the static routing as we know that in the static routing router is already aware about the directly connected network for verifying this I will go into the command line phase and in the command line uh, we need to go back into the privileged mode that is also called hash mode and put the command show IP route now we can check it is connected with 10.0 which is this network and 10.96 but is not aware about 10.32 it's not aware about 128 and it is not aware about 64 so we manually tell this particular router about all the unknown network so as all of you know what we need to provide we need to provide the three fields first i will tell for router a for this router with the help of command line static routing what is the network address we need to follow we need to provide unknown destination network address so for this router 10.0 is known 10.96 is known but 10.32 is not known so 192.168.10.32 what is the subnet mask we are following 255 255.255.220 what are the next hoop address next hoop address is the address of that interface from which interface your network traffic enters into the any other networks or the address of the interface which belongs to your next hoop so for this this particular interface become the next hoop as uh, in the previous video we discussed this complete process so what address we given here 97 is given to this interface 98 is given to this interface 192.168.10.98 add it now he is get aware about this network but not aware about this network so what is the network address 128 is the network address now what is the subnet mask this is the subnet mask. what is the next hoop for the case of end routers next hoop is always remain same either you want to go in this network pass from this interface either you want to go in this network you need to pass from this interface so next hoop is remain same now it get aware about this network this network and this network but not aware about 64 so tell him about 64 network also 64 now subnet mask is same and next hoop address is also same because it belongs to end router now all three networks are added for verifying it go into the CLI exit and click on the show IP route so now the router is aware about how many networks five networks how many network five network all the static routes are starting from yes s is representing the static route now check for this router how many route is already aware so the command is show ip route it's already aware about three connected networks so we will go one two three but not aware about this network and not aware about this network so go on the configuration click on the static and uh, you need to tell 192.168.10.0 network what is subnet mask 255.255.255.224 in the case of FLSM every sub network having same subnet mask because they having same range so range is dependent upon the subnet mask so in the case of FLSM every sub network having same subnet mask so only you no need for remembering the subnet mask for each network what is the next hoop now from this network 
or any other network from this router traffic want to go in this network or any other network must pass from this interface so for middle router there are two possibility either traffic flow in the right direction or left direction so for uh, according to the direction your next hoop where is now the traffic for this direction this is the next hoop so we need to provide 192.168.10.97 is provided on this interface added okay now this router is get about one two three and four but not aware about 64 so provide 64 information also and the next hope is now changes now the traffic want to flow in this direction and want to get information about this network so you need to pass from this interface and the address given to this interface is 130 at this now both the networks are added this router is complete similarly this router is only aware about 128 and 64 not aware about 32 10.0 and 96 so go on the router click on the static first unknown network is 10.32 you can take any series so the, there is a no, no procedure for following any hard and fast rule for selecting this first or this first you can choose any one 255.255.224 what are the next hoop address again this is the next hoop address and this is the end router so for every any network you want to go the next hoop is remain same so this interface address is 129 so next hoop address is 192.168.10.129 add it so it's get aware about this 10.129 96 224 everything add is then 10.0 224 add it now we added all three networks now every router is aware about all other sub networks now check it process failed successful Similarly for this to this first successful similarly for this to this successful now check the path followed the command is used for checking the path trace RT and from this uh, PC I want to check what is the path followed for this PC so IP address of this PC is 10.66 so click now trace rt for 192.168.10.66 now check first from this pc the packet reaches to this gateway 10.1 then to this interface 10.98 then to this interface 10.130 then to the destination PC 10.66 so remember to command trace RT is your finding the uh, path followed by that particular packet and ping to check the connectivity 192.168.10.66 now we are sending echo request and what we are receiving echo reply thanks for watching if you have any doubt and question kindly put into the comment box